This is a presentation over the Hyper-V updates in Windows Server 2016 by Donovan Kearns. First is discrete device assignment. This allows direct access from the virtual machine to PCIe hardware devices. Um, this allows for faster access. access. It uses two, um, two different types of devices, two categories for the devices. Um, and graphics adapters and storage devices. It does not allow it to use le legacy devices from within the virtual machine, and when being used, certain um, features will be unavailable. Um, this allows encryption support. Uh, this will protect the operating system using a BitLocker key storage. Uh, you can unauthorize it with a, either a guarded fabric or an external private key. Uh, this requires version 8 of the virtual machine. Uh, some management improvements include alternate credentials, which will allow um, you to use multiple or different um, credentials to get into the virtual machine. Uh, another improvement is just allow you to manage earlier versions of the virtual machine. And some updated management protocol is, includes live migration and remote management. Uh, it now allows a Linux secure boot. This can be booted from a generation 2 virtual machine. Uh, you must have either Ubuntu 14 or later, SUS 12 or later, or Red Hat 7 or later, or CentOS 7 or later. Um, new networking features including RDMA, which cannot be used with or without SET uh, virtual switch. It also now allows multi-queues, multi which allocates multiple hardware queues into the virtual machine. Um, and it, the default will now become a set of queues instead of one. And it also allows quality of service of software-defined networks. Uh, this is where we're excited. Thank you.